Hey everyone. Um, so basically, I just wanted to start doing YouTube videos of my poems to kind of get myself out there so people can know who I am. And so people who haven't seen my work yet or seen me perform in person um, can see, you know, what I'm all about, what I have. Um, I performed a couple of days ago at CMU, but nobody was able to get a video of it. So... I'm going to do that poem again, and it's called Infidelity. Hope you guys like it, and if you do, please um, share, just, you know, spread the word, whatever. Um, here it is. One of the saddest entities in this world to me is a cheater. No, not just because society says it's wrong, because some people believe that if you're not married, it's okay. And not because I'm a female and I know the pain and wouldn't wish it on my own worst enemy. Rather, because I'm a female and when I love, I love with every bit of my being. When I love, harm couldn't begin to fit the requirements of an adjective for my affection. I love so deeply, so intensely that the letters that spell out his name are engraved in the depths of my soul. If you were to split my skull to examine my brain, you'd find a cinema of constant romance movies. Pictures of he and I with cheesy captions that embody what we share. If you open my chest to examine my heart, you'd hear two beats. And in my stomach, you'd never hear a growl because I'd be so full on everything I need. Yeah, it's like that. When we love it, it's in the game. See, what you young men need to realize is that we women aren't running around here with our hearts in our palms, ready to hand them out like free candy on Halloween. Her heart is like that watch or that wallet that your granddaddy gave you. Sacred, dear, and precious. And she only gave it to you out of confidence that you value it and take good care. She never imagined there come a time when you were unsatisfied and she's no longer good enough. She never envisioned you getting tired and bored and when you mess up, she stuck. See, you're fine because you still have your dignity and that same slick ass smirk on your face because everything is all good. The epitome of having your cake and eating it too, but she spoke those three words and now she's eating them too. Gagging is the memories of what once were make her nauseous. She can't believe she gave you her most precious gift and you played with it, abused it, and lost it. And she's no Indian giver, so she can't take it back. Hell, she can't even find it in all the lies, tears, pain, with all the damn games you played. She's found herself in a maze and that's how you leave her. Lost. She has no heart, so she no longer knows how to feel. With you and her sanity, she can't seem to come to reason with the situation because you promised you never hurt her. The only thing she ever asked of you and you couldn't even stand by it. We put more value in your words than you all do your own. So when you say I love you, each letter dances off your tongue as the sound creates a sweet symphony for our ears. And you are forever indebted to that phrase and held to those words. You see, this isn't a game. There are no do-overs, and the damage done to her heart cannot be repaired by simply pressing restart. You can't take away the pain or erase her heart's scars. Her dignity doesn't come back immediately. You can't treat this as a game, try it out, and then take it back to the store because you simply aren't feeling it anymore. If you're not sure you want her, don't pay the price by saying I love you. Because I'm fortunate for her, all hearts are final sale. Because it is impossible to return them, unused, unopened, or unbroken. Thank you.